This video is sponsored by buns. I'm going to spend the next 24 hours without touching or using anything made of or containing plastic. 24 hours, no plastic. But first, I need to take this off because it's entirely made of polyester. And polyester is a type of plastic. And actually my socks, which I thought were entirely merino wool when I started this, they actually contain a bunch of nylon, which is another type of plastic. Oh, and my pants, um, they contain a type of elastic fabric that is plastic. Oh, and um, the, the elastic, I have to get rid of these too, because they have, they have, they're not, they have plastic in them. Um, okay. Now in order to do this project, I need to film it. So I'm making an exception for my camera and for my tripod, both of which are mostly made of plastic. But I can't use my phone. Um, so I'm gonna just do one last thing. Set an alarm for tomorrow, save, and take off my glasses, which have little things of plastic on them at the nose. I'm gonna plug my phone in, because as of now, uh, I have no way of telling the time. First thing is I gotta make myself some socks. The flooring in my apartment is almost entirely carpet and fake tiles. So both of those are made mostly of plastic, which is why I have set up the longest game of the floor is lava using these little cotton um, tea towels which are 100% cotton. I can't use my refrigerator during this project, but here's some food that I can eat. Well, it turns out that reading with a magnifying glass instead of my glasses just gives me a headache. So I'm gonna have to get a little more creative with what I'm going to do with my time. It's been just this much candle and I'm already so bored that I'm doing something I thought I would actually never ever do again in my life. I'm setting up dominoes. Plastic. By the way, all of the plastics that I'm avoiding in this video were all made from fossil fuels. It's dinner time. And I've got canned chili. I also can't cook it um, because my stove has plastic throughout it. I'm going to sleep, but I'm not saying that I'm going to bed because what I'm actually sleeping in is a pile of 100% cotton towels on the floor. It's gonna be cold and it probably won't be very comfortable, but um, there won't be any plastic in it, so. I tried making coffee this morning, but without a kettle or a microwave or a coffee machine or a bodum to use, because all of those are plastic, uh, my coffee was terrible. Yeah. But I have a backup plan. The floor is lava, the floor is lava, the floor is lava. Oh yeah. This is cold brew coffee. And this freeze your coffee first thing, it's a trick I figured out before my biodome project because I, I couldn't cook coffee then either. And coffee's very important. Most of the water in my house comes through these black PVC, these plastic pipes. So I stored up a bunch of water and I've been using that to wash my hands and to flush the toilet. Luckily, my toilet is porcelain, but the seat, the seat is plastic. So that's been kind of awkward. I can brush my teeth with a bamboo and charcoal toothbrush instead of a plastic one. And I can use baking soda or make my own toothpaste instead of using some that comes in a plastic tube. And I can floss using silk. But there's a few things that I just can't get away from. Like I had cavities a long time ago and now I have white plastic fillings in my teeth. So I am always touching plastic. And there's another exception that I want to talk about in a moment. Candle snuffer take 14. <laughs> it finally worked. <sighs> now I gotta find something else to do.
I can't go outside because in Vancouver, the roads are partly paved with recycled plastic. By now you can probably tell that most of what you own is made with plastic. Humans are obsessed with the stuff. We make 300 million tons of it every single year, and of that, 79% will eventually become waste in landfills or in nature, like our oceans, where scientists predict by the year 2050, our oceans may have more plastic in them than fish. There's already so much plastic waste built up in our oceans that when researchers go looking for it, they can usually find microscopic bits of plastic in sea salt, the sea salt that you eat. And that brings me to my last exception with this little project, which is that it's probably in my body. Because when researchers looked at the stool samples of eight different individuals from eight different countries, every single one of them had plastic in them. So it's probably in me, and it's probably in you. Now, we can make major steps towards getting rid of plastic without having to, to live like this. And that's because half of the plastic we create is made to be used just once. It's single-use plastic. That needs to stop. Here's two things that you can do. Number one is to take a long, hard look at the plastic waste that you create. Figure out whether it's bottles or plastic packaging or bags and find alternatives. And number two is to push your local governments towards banning single-use plastics like shopping bags and takeout containers. Some of these things are going to stick around for a thousand years unless we do something now. Yes! <laughs> that was 24 hours. While working to reduce the amount of plastic in my life, I recently discovered an online community called Buns. They have an app, and it's super simple. You can post things on there that you no longer want to use, and you can find things on there that you do want to use. On the very first day that I went onto their app, I found these steel tiffins, and I'd been looking to buy these already, and it was really easy. I messaged the person, I biked down the street, and I made a trade. I gave them uh, a Christmas gift that hadn't even left the box, I won't say from whom, and in return they gave me these steel tiffins. The whole process was super easy, and I finished that experience thinking, like, this is really great, and I should totally ask Buns to sponsor me. Their app is entirely free, and it makes trading with people super easy. So check it out with the link in the description. There is a new kid on the block. I have added this tropical plant to my robotic garden because Sir Stabbington, the cactus, was just getting drowned with your love. So this new plant needs a name. Leave a comment in the description and subscribe to water either of them. Thanks.